Hey there, and welcome back to Doc Talks. We're here with Dr. Murphy, your favorite doc, the coolest guy around. And he is going to talk to you today about a specific topic which you requested, testosterone. So what are your thoughts on taking testosterone? So I don't really know a whole lot about it. I've just heard a little bit about it lately. I know that some men, as they age, they like to um, do kind of like a hormone replacement like women do sometimes with the creams and that, this, that, and the other. Yes. Could you share with us a little bit about your thoughts on testosterone? Yeah, you know, there's a big difference between testosterone and what women use, which is the estrogen and progesterone. Okay. And there is some women that use just a little bit of testosterone in uh, their creams that they use. Testosterone's not very well absorbed from the from an ointment, so it okay. really doesn't work that well. And about the only way you can actually increase a testosterone level very well is with injections. Okay. Now, is it indicated for a male that had to undergo a procedure to remove the family jewels because of mm -hmm. cancer or something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do men's testosterone uh, gradually reduces over time? The answer is yes. Does it need to replace? To be replaced? I don't necessarily think so, and I'm not so sure it's actually a good idea. Okay. I don't do it anymore, and I haven't done it, honestly, in 10 or 15 years. And the reason why, there's been some studies that have been coming out kind of randomly here and there, and uh, there is a lot of detrimental effects to taking testosterone. Mm -hmm. You know, not every male needs it. I think a lot of them want it to, so they can bulk up, and it will bulk you up. It'll increase male muscle mass, but there's downsides to it, too. Mm -hmm. It also uh, messes with your cholesterols, and I think it accelerates cardiovascular disease. Okay. I think uh, so. Potential heart attacks. It could yes, make... heart attacks, strokes, uh -huh. blood clots, things along yeah. those lines. You know, it's interesting because you look at you know age of death in the United States right now. It's about seventy-seven. But if you look at the difference between women and men, I mean, women typically live about three to four years longer than men. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the big difference? Testosterone, estrogen. Okay. So, an estrogen has been proven to be what they call cardioprotective. In other words, it's good for the heart. Uh, progesterone has some beneficial effects to it. But outside of bulking up and, I guess, increasing your male libido, there's really no benefit from taking testosterone. Okay. Now, I think in small doses of women to build bone mass, muscle mass, fine. But uh, in men, I, I, I don't like it. I won't give it. And I think, honestly, if you're going to be getting testosterone shots from somebody, you actually probably need to see a urologist or a very, very knowledgeable okay. family practice doc. I, I think any other way to do this is just wrong and... Uh, probably borders on negligence and malpractice. Well, wow, yeah. Um, and I know that's a hot topic because I actually, I know some people who um, who take the injections, the testosterone injections, and, um, you know, there has been um, a little bit of question, especially like you said lately with the new studies that have come out and whether or not it, it should be done, and it sounds like you don't recommend it at all. You know, men have been living on this earth yeah. for hundreds of thousands of years without testosterone yeah. shots, so... No, I, 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 I'm not a big believer in them at all. Okay. So if you are going to get a testosterone shot, you don't need to just go to anybody. It's important that you go to someone like yeah. you're all just a doctor. Do your research. Yes. You know, I'll find somebody that actually knows what they're doing when it comes to this. Because, you know, everybody's different. It's hard to follow the levels. You know, you have to follow the levels, how you're doing with it and everything. And whether or not it's indicated. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure there's some docs out there that anybody that walks through the door, will, they'll get a testosterone shot if they want it. Uh, I, that, I think that's just wrong, mm -hmm. and that, that shouldn't happen. So you should probably talk to your primary care physician on whether or not you should do yeah, it. Yeah, the, same, the thing of it is, you get a shot now, and it's like, oh my gosh, I feel good. Okay, 10 years from now, you're dead of a stroke, and you're in your 50s. Okay, yeah. this this is not good. Okay. So there's there's some questions and a lot of concerns out there about uh, about this particular hormone, and uh, I think it's uh, it's more dangerous than what I want to deal with. Okay. Well, it that's... sounds simple, sounds benign. It's not. Yeah. So, so don't let somebody tell you it's not a bigger deal than it is. It's a real big deal. Talk to your primary care physician before you just go willy-nilly taking it from anybody who's offering it. Mm -hmm. And be careful because there are some dangers with it. Long-term you know long side effects. All righty. Well, I'm glad we covered that because I actually was kind of curious about that. So cool. Well, I hope that answers your questions on testosterone. If you have any other questions, you can surely ask us. We'd be happy to answer your questions. But for sure, talk to your primary care physician. So I guess we'll see you next time. See you.